what's good guys welcome back to the channel welcome to this new video as you see um some things have changed i'm trying to get this whole thing a little more professional um and i'm still working on it maybe i post uh a making of of this situation because i have a aperture over there but i don't have a tripod for it so it's just like sitting on my couch my laptop is over here on the ground um yeah and i'm speaking into this Beautiful microphone as you hear, uh, I love the sound of it. I have a ton of microphones already, but this is still my favorite to work with. Um, yeah, still not 100% perfect, but we'll figure this out. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tobias. I'm a 30 year old freelance photographer based out of Cologne, Germany. Um, I shoot a lot of people, I shoot a lot of street photos, and I also just like documenting life. Um, and documenting life is pretty much what this video today is about because I decided since it's the very end of the year I decided to do another print sale which I have only done once in my entire let's call it career as a photographer and if you guys know me I tend to overthink a lot and and I never really came up with with a photo book a zine or whatever I just did as I said before I just did prints for one time and and you know it's just like I had the urge to share some of my photos because throughout the year I um, I really tweaked my workflow, I really worked on um, the whole scanning process of my analog photos um, and I really tried to improve every single step that is so essential in this whole analog photography game and honestly I have some really really great photos to share with you and when you're watching this video right now it means that the photos are already on sale on my website for 24 hours only which means um, you should go to tobiasholzweiler.com which is linked down in the description um, you head over to shop and you only have 24 hours to shop the prints um, yeah that's it and I won't open the shop for another six months or so because as I said I don't often um, like put my work on sale because I really want to work on it for a long 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 time and I don't like putting everything on sale just because I have it um, I really want to work on something that's that really means a lot to me and yeah so this is what the 10 prints that you can buy now um, on my website are about it's really some of the best photos that I took in my personal opinion photos that mean a lot to me um, and photos that I'm really proud of, so I hope you enjoy uh, having a look on my website. But first let's have a look which photos made it finally to the shop. Um, at this very point when I'm recording the video, it's not 100% final which ones will be on sale because um, the voting is still running on my Instagram. I posted three posts with 10 photos each uh, where you could like comment down below and vote for your favorite photo. Um, you could also win a free print. Um, and I will announce that very soon on my Instagram. Um, yeah, so um, I just brought a few um, photos and I've already printed them on 15 by 20 uh, centimeters, not inch. Um, yeah, and let's just have a look at some of the photos and I will just give some notes on them. So um, we have some photos from New York. For example, I like this one a lot. Unfortunately, this one will not make it um, to, to the shop, um, but this one will make it for sure. It has a lot of votes already. This one is called Lady Liberty. I took this one when we've been on the Staten Island Ferry in New York. And every time I go to New York, I try to hop on that ferry at least once because as you see, you can just catch such a nice frame of Lady Liberty. Um, but you can also, you have an incredible view over the Manhattan skyline um, from Staten Island, from the water. And it's just, it's for free, which is also kind of nice. Um, yeah, so highly recommended doing that. Um, yeah, and I shot this one on the Cinesteel 400D. You can tell it from these halations over here in the water and in the frame where the sun is coming in. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Um, next up, also a photo that I like a lot. Um, shot this one in uh, Portugal, in, in Faro. And initially we wanted to go for a sunrise walk, um, for a sunrise hike. But as you see, there was no sun. There was just a lot of fog, a lot of clouds. But this one looks very, very 
very mysterical. I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, I like this one a lot. Uh, another one. Um, I'm not sure if this one will make it. Um, and I shot this one right in the city center of Cologne in, a, in some bakery, I think. But I loved the shapes of the tables. Um, and I think it made for a very, very nice photo. I'm also a huge black and white fan, as you can probably tell. This one, uh, again from New York. Uh, this guy was uh, working for Tiffany's and um, yeah, was holding the door uh, for some guests, guests to walk in and I just snapped his hand. Um, I love this photo, but it won't make it to the shop because you guys didn't like it. Uh, never mind. I hope this one will make it because this one is really one of my favorites. Uh, is It was shot in September in Soho, New York on a, such a beautiful sunny day, like 20 degrees Celsius, um, maybe 22, 23. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of sun. There's there are some really interesting shadows. The guy just looks really really nice. Um, yeah, you also have the World Trade Center in the background. You can see it. Um, yeah, really nice photo. And also I like this one a lot. And this one will make it for sure because yeah, it's not only me who likes the photo. It's also you guys. So um, thanks for voting for this one because I like it a lot. It's called center of attention because of um, because of all the lines that you have in the frame. I can tell you, maybe you can see it already. You have this line over here. You have a line from here. You have a line from here. So that's you know where the guy is standing. It pretty much marks the spot and marks the center of attention. That's why I call it uh, this way. Um, another one from New York. Uh, this one I like. This, I like it a lot because of the color contrast between the blue and um, the kind of brown orange um, and you don't really like see who the girl is who the woman is you only see her shoes which is something that i really kind of find interesting to photograph i really take a lot of these photos uh, to be honest um yeah but i just like it a lot yeah nothing more to say oh and this is one of my favorites also shot this one in cape town um don't have a name for it already but i think it will make it to the shop because it has a lot of votes already um we were visiting a really nice botanical garden right in cape town um yeah and i just saw these flowers had the 28 wide angle on my on my camera and um yeah on black and white it just looks so 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 good in my opinion and that's the last photo that I want to show you. Um, this one is called um, He Won't Come. Um, and there's a little story behind the photo because I was seeing her standing right on the very edge on the waterfront. Um, and she was looking at her phone um, quite for some time, like always checking and looking around and checking her phone, her phone, her phone. And then at some point, because I thought she might be she, she was waiting for someone to arrive, but no one came, so she just left and um, walked away. Um, this is how I've experienced this this situation, and this is why I called it um, He Won't Come. Um, yeah, a little sad, a little, little melancholic maybe, but um, yeah, I shot this one on Cinestil 800T, um, I think, and it just made some beautiful bluish colors. Um, this is facing the New Jersey side, by the way. Yeah, um, and one more thing, which is really important, by the way, the first orders. Um, I haven't decided how much, um, maybe it's 10, maybe it's 15, maybe it's 20. Um, we'll receive one of these prints for free. Um, that means um, if you are quick, if you are one of the first ones who buy one of the prints, you will receive a free print. It's not going to be uh, the same photo that you chose um, like as a bigger print that you're actually buying, but it's gonna be like, I have a huge selection, like 400 prints um, just sitting at my at my, uh, at my bookshelf right now. Um, and I would choose a random one and you will get it for free. Um, yeah, and that's gonna be it for now. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the prints. I hope you enjoy having them living in your homes, hanging on your walls. Um, it also makes for some really nice Christmas gift, I think. Thanks again for watching. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm really working on 
Some new videos um, I try to post at least once a week, um, which is kind of tricky doing to my travel schedules as a freelance full-time photographer. Um, yeah, but um, I'm doing my best. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much. Uh, please make sure to head to the shop and give yourself a treat um, by one of the prints. And yeah, thank you so much. And um, yeah, see you next week. <laughs>